in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to install viso master the best fake video call software to date the size of viso master is 13.9 gigabytes but when extracted is 24 gigabytes or you can just go to your chrome browser and copy the link in the description paste it there and download the one click installer now to download it you scroll down and when you scroll down you're going to see where they're going to write link so when i keep scrolling you're going to see automatic installation windows then you see somewhere that they put a link already this is in the description but you just have to click on it once now once you click on that link it's going to start downloading immediately as you can see over here you can see i'm already downloading it so i'm going to wait for it to download now once it has downloaded it's going to show you like this you're going to double click on the exe installer then you're going to look at it like this it's going to say microsoft defender this 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 you're just going to click on the more info button then you're going to click on run anyway so when you click on run anyway you're just going to click on next like the regular installer you're going to click on next then you're going to click on install so it's going to start installing the file on your laptop now you need very very good internet or else you're going to encounter many errors so you can see it's going to start downloading everything everything is going to download this time around it's going to be about 50 gig so you have to take your time with the one click installer so after the whole process is going to show you something like this you're going to click on finish but we're going to use the already downloaded file that is already in the description when you open that 24 gig file you're going to see something like this a chinese logo just double click on it you understand just double click on it and when you double click on it it's going to show you something like this now this means that it is loading okay this means that it is loading so you are going to see something like this once that's loaded up load up your last workspace so you're just going to click on cancel because you are not even working before in the last place so you're going to click on cancel so when you click on cancel it's going to show you an interface like this and i'm going to explain everything to you in this video you can see there are many many things you can see my vram is 16 gigabytes it's going to show you your vram by the top right screen so let me explain so let's start with the webcam right how do you use a webcam let me just show you guys the whole interface so over by the left you're going to see the square icon by the left over the video you click on it after you click on it okay your webcam is just going to show some light okay i don't know if you guys can see but your webcam is going to take some time it's going to show some light then over here this left side down is where you're going to add your images you understand the image you're going to use for it so let me show you how you add it you go to your file explorer you drag the email the image you want to use you drag it when you drag the image you come back to the viso master then you just go here and you drop the image so once you drop the image instantly you're going to see it loading up the models then your image is going to be there immediately in order to use your webcam you're just going to click on your webcam once when you click on your webcam once there's this play button over here let me show you guys my mouse you see this play button let me show you guys my mouse now you see my mouse i'm going to click on it once and when i click on it once my camera is meant to show on my screen and i'm going to show you guys a demo of me like waving my hand you can see first the light is showing green meaning my camera is being used on my laptop now waving my hand you can see everything is showing in real time so it's showing you that it is my camera not a video that is playing so you can see now in order to find my face i'm just going to position my face and click find faces so when i click on find faces it's going to find my face my real face that is going to track then i'm going to click on the picture once i click on the picture you are going to see it's going to show the picture then i'm going to click on swap faces and immediately i'm going to click on the play button again so when i click on the play button you can see right you can see the face detail but if you watch it to the end i'm going to show you guys how to edit the complexion of the face you can see this one is very very low quality and i'm also going to show you guys how to fix this you can see before and you can see after you can see you can put your hand over your beard easily so in order to do that you are going to do this you're going to scroll down on the software you can see this thing you're going to scroll down and you're going to enable occlusion mask very important once you enable that you can put your hand over any part of your face like i'm doing now in this video and you can see how clean and clear it is no 
stories the only thing is that you need very very good light in order to use the software you need good light that is going to give the software information now the next thing we want to talk about is face resolution now many people have been saying the faces are blurry so this is what you're going to do first thing you have to know about this is that you need a very very high amount of vram again you can see i have 16 gigabytes of vram so how do we do this let me show you guys over here you're going to change this to 256 okay and you can see the quality of the face at 256 it is getting sharper it just has to do with the sharpness but at 512 your laptop has to be very very strong and you can see my laptop isn't so strong and you can see it's lagging it's very very slow so i would recommend you switch it to 256 and let me show you the quality of 256 once i click on 256 look at the quality very very smooth very very clean very very fast now the next setting is this the face likeness now putting on face likeness you can see as i drag it to the right you can see the face you can see as i drag it to the left you can see so you are going to choose the one that is suitable for you but this is not the settings for the complexion the settings for the complexion is not even differencing but let me show you guys put on differencing and you can see differencing is just a different setting but the setting for complexion is strength so when i put on strength and i drag it to the highest you can see you can see the face quality if i drag it to the left you can see the face quality again zoomed in you can see the amount of complexion i'm getting from this no light no light source at all just dragging it left and right using the face strength now let me show you guys how to link it to obs now this is obs to do under your sources you're going to click on plus you're going to click on window capture then you're going to just click on ok that's where i'm just going to click on now once you click on ok let me zoom in my camera you're going to click on select the window and you're going to click on viso master again make sure you click on viso master then ok once you click on ok you are now going to click on edit okay i'm you're going to move your mouse now to edit so i'm going to move my mouse to edit as you can see here see my mouse over the edit button i'm going to click on edit i'm going to click on transform then i'm going to click on fit to screen so once i click on fit to screen you can see i'm it has fitted my full screen so i'm going to drag the edges to adjust it to fit my screen so you can see guys i'm dragging the edges and i'm getting it to fit my screen then by the way if you are done fitting your screen accordingly this is what you must do you are going to click on outside the box make sure you click on outside the box and again you can see everything has fit the screen now the most important part you, go, you are going to click on start virtual camera again let me zoom in you are going to click on start virtual camera once a virtual camera has started in order to make a fake video call open your telegram or whatever platform go to the settings click on the default input device like the camera for example and switch your default camera into obs studio make sure that it is your default camera not your external camera now i'm just going to call myself on video call for you guys to see the video call you guys can see the video call very very clean very very clear there was no ring light so that's why it's dark like this by the way if you enjoyed this video a subscription will be great and those that want to learn how to make a fake video call on whatsapp should watch this video by the left and those that want to learn how to make a fake video call with the voice changer watch the, the one by the right thank you guys for watching i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye